what is up guys welcome back to the channel today you guys delivered man i asked and you guys sent it we are doing reviewing my subscribers episode number eight or nine i don't know but it's gonna be awesome so without further ado dual screens let's get into it guys all right first up we got mr jason jones let's see what we got going on here Mr. Jason Jones, this is my 0540, beautiful, rep in Illinois, I see, right outside of Chicago. Oh, you're probably pretty close to me then, sweet. All right, let's see the build, guys. Here we go, here we go. Ooh, I like, is that the, not the Cobra R hood. I forgot what that's called. I like that cowl hood, that looks nice. If I had the V6 front bumper still, I would have done this chin spoiler. By the way, guys, if I sound a little nasally, your boy's been fighting some demons, and those demons are called sinus infections. Oh my goodness, that's why your boy's been out of the game for a week but I am back, we're fine through it. Looks like you got also some, I think those are like the 2010 GT wheels. Are we lowered? Can we see how we zoom in? Uh-oh, oh, 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 oh. All right, it, possibly, you might be lowered. I see we got the louvers on the side. Are those like riveted in on the front bumper? I have not necessarily seen it that way before, but not too shabby not too shabby i actually like this grill is that what the v6 grill look like man it's been so long since i've had it but i am a fan of that that kind of looks very similar to the bullet grill just without the pony looks like you have the smoked headlights dude i really like that hood see i almost wish i had that hood compared to the four inch i love the four inch cowl hood but it's just at times a lot so all in all i mean it looks pretty clean dude you know i have a soft spot for four o's especially black four o got to see some pictures of behind it. I can't tell in the picture if it's, I don't know. Kind of looks like it's been painted a little, little rough, but it could just be this angle. It looks like this was taken with an iPhone or some sort of smartphone, so not the highest of quality. But uh, yeah, dude, super clean. I think you're on the right path. And me personally, I'd get some different wheels for that thing. Um, I'm not a big fan of stock wheels, but those do look nice. It's better than like the whole like five spoke or whatever, not five spoke. You guys know the V6 wheels. I forgot what they call them, like the Trident wheels or whatever. Um, clean, dude. I'd say this is like a solid six. You're on the right path and because you're local, got to give you an extra little bump there. So yeah, dude, six all day. I appreciate you sending that in. Let's see. Okay. You just sent it in double. No worries, but very, very clean. Oh, what is this? Okay. never mind. How do I get out of this? Hold up. Hold up. Uh oh guys, it's not how we start this one off. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, next. We got Mr. Tr I've never seen Tristan spelled that way. Kautz, Kautz, hopefully I'm not pronouncing that wrong. We got a 2003 Subaru Impreza five speed. I bought it as a commuter car for college, but I to try something with it. Currently on Lawrence Springs, paid in up some cheap wheels off Facebook, got mud flaps and a tent. Okay, first of all, I'm actually kind of surprised we got someone in here that is not a Mustang owner. So what is up, Mr. Tristan? That is a very unique green. All right, we got the gold wheels, green and gold. That is a very nice combo we got going on there. Yo, from this angle, I know someone's gonna call me out, but doesn't the front clip kind of look like one of those like older, is it a 964 Porsche? I don't know, I'm not very good with Porsches, but I do like this. Um, by the way, if you, Tristan, you probably know this, but you gotta look up my boy. He has a wicked one. Uh, Tanner, I Tanner on Instagram, dude. His is sick and yours reminds me of his. Dude, this green is nice. What'd you say you had done to it again? Loring Springs. Dude, that's not bad. And wagons are dope. Anyone that talks trash about wagons is a loser. So I'm a fan of that. I would say, you know, I would get some maybe different Rolling Springs, but this really isn't for me to critique your guys' build and tell you, you know, what you should and shouldn't do. For a college car and a daily, this thing's pretty sweet, man. I'm going to I'm gonna stick with, and I like the headlights. There's no way those are factory. <laughs> it kind of looks like it's mean, like it's, it's mugging at you. So, dude, I'm going to give this a six and a half. This is solid. Um, actually, no, I'm going to go to a seven because it's a wagon. You don't see these too often. And, oh, got the little light bar there. See, there's a lot of little things here that I'm noticing. So you didn't put them all in. And then the fact that the side marker is kind of like on the like fender, that's very strange. By the way, guys, if you hear my dog, my apologies. But dude, seven, seven all day. This thing's clean. Also, the body looks like in super great shape. I don't see any dents or nothing. So dude, nice job, Tristan. Cool stuff. I'm excited to see what you do. If you do more mods and whatnot, send them back in. I want to see more of it. All right, Mr. Patrick, get three. I'm assuming that's Getchel. Oh, we got another 4 old build, boys. Here we go. Bada boom. Got my 4 at 17, order the SLP2 and yet to install it. Bro, get it installed. I'm sure by the time this video is live, you've already done it. All stock at the moment, but damn, she looks good. 
Let's see, do I agree? I do agree. Looks like you have the GT front bumper, or not, yeah, no, no, sorry, not front bumper, front grill. And then you have the billet inserts. Let's see what we've got other angles here. I love these hoods, the ones without the hood scoops. Before I got the Cervini's four inch cowl hood, I had the hood that had like a little hood scoop. I was not a fan of that. I much prefer this hood, what just looks super, super clean. It does appear that you have the tinted turn signals, tinted headlights, that seems to be a theme today. Smoke tail lights, there we go. And you even took the plate off, man. You went the extra mile, my boy. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Simple, clean, man, can't say anything negative. Now, what I will suggest, you gotta throw some tint on her, bro. You got everything else tinted. Now you gotta get the windows tinted because you are fish bowling, which again, you know, maybe you have some sort of like eye thing going on, so you don't wanna do it. Or maybe the cops in your area are very, very strict. But dude, throw some tint on, lower that thing down to earth. What wheels we got going on? Are they stock wheels? No, it looks like we got some bullets. What are those? Probably 17 inch bullets. I, I, I gotta keep it above with y'all. I think bullets are the most overplayed wheels in the world, but hey, I'm not hating. I'm not hating. It looks good on this. But yeah, lower that thing down. Maybe throw some spacers in the back, get some tint on there. And my boy, you are chilling. Mr. Patrick, we're going to go ahead and give you, I got to be fair. I got to be fair. I got to go 5.5, not knocking it. That's still a solid score. It's a clean 5.5. Five. I'd rather give you a 5.5 and it'd be simple versus a 5.5 super done up and it looks like caca. So Patrick, my boy, thank you for submitting. I appreciate that. We're going to do one more, guys. I'm trying to keep these short and sweet. Mr. Logan Peterson with his 07 Shelby GT. Oh, you guys don't want to hear my opinion on those. Now I'm just playing. Hey, just subscribe. Saw you doing Sun Review. I know you meant some. Got to call you out there. Now I'm just playing. But this is my 2007 Shelby GT bought in Hawaii. First manual V8 I've ever owned. Nice, my guy. Hawaii. Oh, wait, did you say you live in Hawaii or you bought it from Hawaii? bought out in Hawaii. Holy cow, dude. If you live in the States, that shipping bill must have probably stung quite a bit. All right, looks like you see a bullet there. Ooh, you had the Shelby. What do they call those? The razor wheels, I believe. I Those are actually, I'm hit or miss on those. I like them and I don't. I like them on yours. So let's see what else we got going on here. We got a good old Scion TC. <laughs> no, but all right, can you zoom in? God, one of these days I'm going to get this thing right. So hold up. I have never seen this before. Are those fog lights or is that like induction for like air ducts for cooling brakes? It almost looks like there's another hole here and here. What the heck? I'm going to have to do some research and see if that's stock. I've never noticed that before. That's actually, that is sweet. I do like that. You are lowered. So that's a plus two. You got lowering springs down there. See, I didn't get a mod of this. So I don't know. That is, I'm 99% sure aftermarket hood scoop these i know are aftermarket the hood uh oh my god i'm spacing them hood struts no uh hood pins there we go nice dude wing delete spoiler delete do these come like that oh man i don't know too much about the shelby gts i just feel bad for the people that pay gt 500 prices for these because it's really a three though okay this is a good picture it is look at that right there okay I'm actually a fan of the spoiler delete. I think that looks nice. You do have the side scoops on there. And I love these badges. Dude, if I were to ever put badges on my car, 100% it's gonna be these powered by Ford. Love those. And these wheels, they are growing on me. They look really good on this car. Nice, man. Also, hang on, let's just analyze some of these other cars. Looks like we got a, what is that, a Super Snake behind you? 07 to 09, got a 5.0. On some, I don't know what wheels those are, but I actually kind of like those. Not gonna lie. Oh, here's here's the money shot. Hold up. You can put your registration thing there. Interesting. Oh, you live in Hawaii. Okay, that's why. That makes more sense. Wait, is that custom, dude? Maybe I just need to do a lot more research on these Shelby's GTs because I was not familiar. Oh, is there holes right there? There is. Wait, only one hole, or is that like bird crap? interesting dude what what is this i'm confused brother but this is clean i love the shelby rear bumper this is what i want for my car but i just i can't justify it right now man ah new build income and that's all i gotta say but dude oh we got another one let's see what else we got all right i saw the 
You had to have done this. This has to be aftermarket, some sort of like vinyl decal. I think that's all the pictures. All right, Mr. Let's go back to the top. Logan, very cool, man. Very, very cool. This one is relatively stock, but because these are not very common, I got to give you a seven. I'm going to give you an eight because this is clean. You didn't go over the top. I believe you did. The spoiler delete definitely has aftermarket exhaust. I like those wheels. I know those wheels are not stock. Hood scoop, eh, indifferent on. But all in all, this thing is clean. But that front grill right here, this bottom grill, is what intrigues me the most. If I, I don't think those are stock. I'm almost positive. But super clean, bro. Giving you an eight. Guys, that was today's video. That was... You guys knocked it out of the park, man. Now, I know there's other emails here. You guys can see we got some other builds. Looks like we got a few more 4.0s in here. Guys, submit, man. I'm going to put it up on the screen. Hopefully, like somewhere right here. SVTEvan03 at gmail.com. doesn't matter what you own, man. You guys saw we had a Subaru wagon in here. Any build you have, as long as there's something done to it, submit it to the chat. It's free publicity. Also, guys, make sure to include your social media so that way I can shout you out. Uh, you never know. And yeah, guys, thank you so much. We're going to pick this up again next week. Just come on. We need one more because I like to keep it at least four vehicles in episode. So we just need a little more person to send it in. Nonetheless, guys, I love y'all. I appreciate it if you made it to the end. Make sure you smash that like button because it helps your boy out a ton. And I'll catch you guys in Monday's upload, which will be tomorrow night. So stick around. Love you guys. Peace out.